I intend to just produce a brief film summarising details about what is known about the parents and ancestors of my father, uncles and aunts, rather than their life history. I leave that to their children. They are the children of Roland and Edith Hayway, nay Diamond. Roland was the 13th child of James and Alice Hayway. This is the 1911 census. They lived at 30 Stanley Road, Heaton Moor, Stockport. He was a junior clerk at the time. He served in the RAMC during the First World War. He married Edith in 1920 at St Paul's Church, Heaton Moor, Manchester. At this time he was probably a travelling salesman for Town Talk Cleaning Systems. Jack was born in 1923, Margot in 1926, Michael in 1930 and David in 1933. Unfortunately, Roland died from an infection on streptococcal septicemia in 1934. It was rumoured that he was actually going to be offered a, a sort of management post in town talk cleaning systems. Edith was born in 1893. This is a photo of her aged about eight with her sister Peggy aged five. According to the 1911 census, they lived at 14 Shaw Road, Heaton Moor, Stockport, when she was 17. At the time, she was a telephone operator. Anyway, in 1934, after the death of Roland, she was a spinster aged 44 children aged 11, 8, 4 and less than a year old. At that time, my father accompanied his cousin Paul for an audition to Manchester Cathedral Choir. My father's name was mentioned in the choir school inspector's report for the year ending 1934. So he got in. It was here that the Reverend John Lloyd Milne was at first assistant choir master, but was promoted to head teacher in 1934. He saw Jack crying one day and visited Edith. Anyway, in a time with no benefits, he offered to take on the family. At first she refused, but she agreed in the end and they married in 1935. Manchester Cathedral Choir was evacuated during the war to Cleveleys in 1939. However, according to Crockford's, the Reverend Milne was pastor of Quindon and Rickley between 1938 and 1940. They then went to Betchley Park, where he was minister from 1940 to 1945. I've interviewed my auntie Daphne, wife of David, to help me know more about the personalities of Evert and the Reverend Milne as I only knew them up to the age of 10 or less. So here's a bit, here's a bit of a relevant uh, interview for that period in time. Uh, you mentioned Grandma Mill, she, um, she worked for a period of time. I don't know an awful lot about it, but I do know at some stage she took a job in a school, boarding school, as a house mother. Right. I've got a f sort of feeling that it was one that Margot was at. Oh yeah, okay. But that is only what I vaguely remember. Right, and this would have been probably in Manchester, you reckon, yeah? I reckon it was around about there. Yeah. It would right. be before they came back down this way. Because they went to Betchley Park during the war. Yes. So if the war was... In 40... Well, that well, 39. Ended in 45, so... Yeah. So they, have, mm. they met, it got married in 35. Yeah. So in that 10-year slot... Yeah. ...would have been a time... She would have gone off and done things. Right. And, 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 and she did that sort of... To, uh, to help support the boys, but also to have a bit of her own time. Right. Because John Milne was a very intellectual man who spent an awful lot of time in his study. Right. With his books. All the time. He goes into classics, doesn't he? I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. But they lived next door to Bletchley Park, where the... Um, the Enigma machine. Enigma machine was. And in the book written about it, there's a little bit about two children getting in through the gates. Oh yeah. Or through the fence, a hole in the fence. Yeah. Well that was David and Michael. No. And it was. Really? Yes, they went through the fence 
and they came up against this guard with his gun and he just told them to scram. <laughs> oh really? Gosh. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Loyalties, loyalties from the filming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> As he gets, this photo was taken in 1938. David was about five and Jack was 15. The Reverend Milne was paying for the boys to go to Monkton Coombe School near Bath. I suspect that Margot was going to a private school, but I don't know which one. And, and to, to you know, confirm, right, I mean, basically when Roland Hayway died, mm -hmm. yes, um, my father, Jack, was going to Manchester Cathedral Choir. I, yeah, I yeah. don't know about that. And, and um, he, he basically uh, proposed to Edith, not through maybe a, a love match, but more sort of mutual... Yeah. He, Granny Milne said to me that he was a good man and he had never ever complained that the amount of money that he had to shadow <laughs> pay for the boy's education. Right. He took on that responsibility. Yeah. And she saw him as a good man. Right. Difficult in a lot of ways. He well, was a difficult man. Was, it, was, it, was he sort of a bit like a bachelor in terms of personality? Oh, very much so. Yeah. He was well in his 40s when they got married. Yeah. And he had lived with a Batman. You know, he'd had his own Batman. Right. Who did whatever he wanted. And actually, when they first got married, they had a maid as well. Because I can remember David saying that the Batman always said, get out of here. And the maid said, come and have a cup of tea, darling. <laughs> <laughs> right. But that, you know, he was very much the bachelor. Right. And, for, and he used to retreat to his study. He, he was very educated, wasn't he? Oh, extremely. I mean, you told me about his sermons. Uh, only from hearsay. Yeah. That they found his sermons very way above their heads and way above half the congregation's heads. So I don't think he was a man of the people. He was too... Intellectual. Intellectual. No. About. 